guys and welcome to my channel and to this video today I will show you six way to paint a bokeh effect and don't get me wrong there are many many more ways to paint it I'm just gonna do today a six one that I do believe are basic maybe ways to paint a bokeh effect and that you can later on use in your paintings and it will be quite enough to reach some gorgeous and beautiful effects different effects in your painting I do have a tutorial on my YouTube membership channel using those techniques and painting the bokeh effect finished piece. So if you want to check that out, you can find that on my membership. And if you want to learn a little bit more about membership, just click that join button beneath this screen and get a little bit more info about that. So without further ado, let's get to it. I am using cotton watercolor paper because we will be lifting paint and I do recommend using a cotton watercolor paper. If you don't have an accessible water, cotton watercolor paper, you can use cellulose. Just make sure it is a quality of paper because if you are using a cheap paper, you can get uh, rips on your paper and it could start to crumble and this is not a really great uh, thing to do on a cellulose watercolor paper especially if it's a cheap paper so just keep that in mind just to know if something goes wrong just to know where it did go wrong also i will be using some of my watercolors you can use any watercolors you have but just also make sure that your watercolors are uh, not stainable that you can lift them because that is the important thing uh, to know and if your paints are not liftable, you won't be able to do some of these effects. So maybe just try on the side your uh, watercolors, do a light wash, a little bit darker actually, not a very light wash, a little bit darker wash, and then leave it to dry completely and try to pick up the paint with your brush. Just go with the clean water on top and see if you can move the paint. And that is how you will see if your paint is stainable and if you can lift it up. Now I will start with the first one, first way, and for that we will be needing some paper towel and also of course watercolors. I will not privet the paper, I will pick uh, quite enough of the paint and just you can uh, you can do that, you can privet your paper, I won't do that, I'm using quite uh, enough of water in my brush so there is no um, There is no risk that my uh, paint will dry. So I'm just going to do, I divided my paper into six parts to do those six ways, but you don't have to do that. You don't have to divide your paper. This is just a practice. So now I will get that towel, put my finger in, or you can just form it in a, in a circle. And then I'm just going to dab it onto my paper. When doing your painting, you can just also do a light wash underneath, leave it to dry, and then do the second wash and lift up your paints. That is how you will get a color also inside of the circle. It won't be completely white and also depends how stainable your watercolors are and how this effect will actually look at the end. So the other way is just to form a smaller circle or something like the closest you can get. Do that circle, get your brush, smaller brush, and just fix a little bit around the circle, form it a little bit maybe better. So like that. That's gonna be our first way. And if you don't like these edges to be quite harsh while the paint is still wet, you can just go around with slightly wet brush, very, very little water in your brush. See, I'm just dabbing it onto my paper towel and just smooth those edges like that. So also if your paint starts to move too much, you can just always add a little bit more paint around your circle. 
but you have to make sure that the paint around it is still wet because you might get uh, the you might be in a risk to pick up the paint so if you don't want that just try to work fast and with doing this you can actually achieve those circles around your circle which sometimes happen in a bokeh effect so just dab it with your paper towel and pick up the paint and that's gonna be our first way to do a bokeh effect second way for the for that one I will be using some greens I will put it here I will use a little bit of that yellow I used also before mix those two to get a little bit lighter green also it's just a matter of preference you can use any color you like but just as I said make sure that it is uh, not stainable that you can pick it up so like that just mixing in my colors and just to make it slightly brighter I will pick up this color this is from Etcho palette just to make it slightly more vibrant again you need to make sure that your colors are uh, that you can lift them up later on so a little bit more water I need like that just again paint in the wash like that just do a very nice wash don't make it too light it won't be visible so I'm gonna add one more layer like that to make it nice and green and for you to see it So like that, we will leave this one to dry and also move on to the third one. Third one I will do first again a layer with that yellow. A lighter wash this time. That's what I was talking in the first one to do the underpainting so I will just add that yellow layer again this is now going to dry we need to leave that one to dry also and now I will get some blue and start the next this one and for that one I will be doing a bokeh effect uh, wet on dry so I will not prevent the paper and we will be doing a bokeh effect painting actually around it so I do want to put one one thing that you can do maybe is well get I do have this uh, ruler with circles so I'm gonna use it but if you don't have it just freehand a few circles that would be fine you don't have to have any fancy tools for this I'm just gonna do a few circles to know where I'm gonna place my bokas. Let's do one more. Somewhere here. Like that. So I did a draw where I do one of my bokas, so that's gonna make it easier for me. And of course, if you want that, you can do the same thing. And we will paint as I said around it so just paint around your circles that's called negative painting we are leaving again you can do what you can do is leave uh, make a underpainting so on some other color first do a light wash like we did here with some other color and then go on top when it dries go on top with your color that you want to make those uh, make the background do the negative painting with so I'm just picking up a little bit more of the color going 
around and I don't want my circles to be so harsh that bokeh to be so harsh you can see that I'm going slightly over the line that I did so now that I have painted that a little bit more of the paint I do want it to make it a little bit more saturated just go around them like that there you go and now I will rinse my brush dry it on a paper towel and just go inside my circles and just smoothing out those edges again you need to make sure that your paint can be lifted so that's the reason why I said that you need to try your paints because you can see right now that my paints can lift easily if you're Scott you won't be able to achieve this effect so just keep that in mind so like that just paint around them and then soften the edges when this dries we can uh, erase the circles and I will move to move on to actually let's check this is still wet I will leave it to dry and paint it at the end I do want to add a few of those also here this time I will do a lighter uh, pencil lines but you know they are there so like that and maybe again one more here and one smaller one here like that so I just marked where I want to place them now I will pick up some clean water and wet my paper it just needs to be slightly wet don't make it too wet just picking up the excess water and now I will get a slightly smaller brush because this is smaller and I don't want to really make it too dark and I will pick up some brownish color you can again pick up any color you like you can do the underpainting and then wet on wet just go around my circles and since the paint is wet it will slightly bleed into the circles we'll do one line here and it will also give you a little bit more time and if your paper starts to dry mine just did that started to slightly dry just pick up some water and add it bit more see how the paper started to dry so you really do need to work fast here like that and our circles are still slightly wet inside so I'm just gonna go around it if your paints are less stain more stainable this is the way to again make it make use of them when painting this bokeh effect because even if they are stainable you just give yourself a little bit more time to work because they won't be so uh, they won't get straight away on a dry paper and dry very fast and give make uh, give you problems when picking when uh, doing this effect but they will stay a little bit more wet for a while so you will get the chance to pick them up so this is the way I would use if I have a little bit more stainable colors and I still want to use them with my bokeh so you can also do add a little bit more of the paint if it starts to dry and you or you want a darker background that's fine just make sure you do have quite enough of the paint 
in your brush and a little bit maybe less water this is how you again do that paint around them still negative painting as the previous one so that's the third way you can do the bokeh so this was done wet on dry and this was done wet on wet while this dries uh, let me just dive into my plans for december i was thinking to give you guys the wheels and let you choose what i will paint and here's how you will do it just write in the comments of this video i choose in your suggestion please make it something realistic something within the theme of christmas uh, winter holidays and something within my style don't just write something like a uh, spaceship that, uh, that's not something i usually paint so such uh, suggestions won't be taken into this consideration and also make it precise not for example just cards but write in what do you want me to paint on cards and from the, your suggestions i will just randomly pick the ones i will paint and also i will give a shout out to the one who suggested it Submit your suggestion by the November 15 and later suggestions won't also be taken into consideration. I hope you like this idea and you will take part in it and let's have some holiday fun. I do have here, let's just prepare, prepare yourself again some towel. I will just mix in here, I do have here some brownish and I will add this beautiful pink to it just to have the variety of colors a beautiful violet i mean this is not really a pink you can see that so let's pick this one a little bit more to make it beautiful and violet i do like this color and now i did not uh, prevent the paper again but you can do that you can do that to add more water to it so let's just do quite enough i do have enough of the water in my brush and i'm gonna go a few times at the top if you give us if you want to give yourself a little bit more time you have you're painting maybe a larger surface uh, prevent your paper and then do a wash on top like that and now with this brush just a little clean water i will do the lifting up so i'm just lifting up the paint from the wet paper wet paint the slightly damped brush very 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 little water in it almost dry like that that's gonna be the first circle see i'm drying my brush then we're gonna do the second one you need to leave it to be more dry because if it's if there is a lot of water in it it won't be able to soak up the water it will just create blooms on your paper if you slightly push it put it onto your paper it will just create a bloom but that's maybe also the effect that you like so if that it is if that's the case you can also do that but we are doing bokeh here so and maybe one more smaller one see it works until the paint is wet like that and maybe here on the top corner I'm just gonna do one peeking and for all of these techniques you can do the underpainting in any color you like so when you start to pick up your paint the background won't be white it will be the color that you like so now these are still wet I will turn my paper around so I don't mess them up so let's go back to this one this one is now dry and prepare yourself a clean paper towel i will just use the stencil but you don't have to use the stencil you can do that with your hand freehand i'm just gonna again dab my brush into the water 
just a little bit of the water in my brush not too much and then just gonna put in the stencil just you know you can draw uh, the circle and then stay within the circle I'm just adding clean water on top creating a circle just going a few times over not using a lot of water again and let's move this because I can see now it started to go under my uh, under the ruler so I'm just gonna pick that with the clean towel see how it's forming that circle so to make it even more visible I'm just gonna go over it again so this paint is now dry and I'm just picking up the paint with my brush and water so just like that and then dabbing it in to pick up the paint so again if you want to make it even more visible just do that repeat your process until you're happy how bright your bokeh is and actually I really do like this one because it doesn't goes it doesn't make creates this very very white parts as I said again you can do the other painting so it won't be so white but this one just picks up a little bit paint but some of the paint also stays on the paper and I actually really do like that effect and these effects are something that you can combine in your painting and just get a different effect so why not you can do more of those in your painting if you want to create some lighter ones some darker ones so some harsher and some more blurred this one is quite blurred has blurred edges so somewhere that it's in maybe a little bit more in the distance like that and for the last one I did cut a circle this is just a masking tape with a masking tape so I will just place it somewhere here maybe put it well I will put it like that so we can later on use the in, we will see the entire circle and I will on top of it paint I'm gonna use a little bit well this is just some brownish color that I do believe it will look nice with those with that yellow but still be a slightly a slightly darker color visible on top so let's do that let's just add it on top like that you can do maybe a few circles around to create those circles around the bokeh while the paint is still wet and we need to leave this to dry see I messed this up a little bit with my ruler so just need to keep that in mind if you're doing the same thing as I did when, if you're placing it to just be careful so this one is also now dry and I will get I will remove that tape masking tape like that and you can see how that circle is very very visible right now maybe you do want to harsh edges make it look like it is uh, just very very focused in, uh, in focus very sharp but if you do you can leave it that way but if you do want to maybe smoothen the edges just get a brush with against just a little bit water see I'm dabbing on top of my uh, paper towel I don't want it to have too much water in it and I'm just gonna go around the edge and just slightly with my brush soften the edges like that And if you start to move your paint and if it starts to go inside your circle you can just do like that 
Maybe dab it in with your towel if you don't want that effect. I'm just gonna go one more time around and just soften it even more and just do that until you're happy with how your bokeh looks, how soft or tight the edges are. Like that and I'm just gonna again there you go like that a little bit softer edges so now we have done all six ways let's remove our tape you can also write here uh, how you got those effects so those are our six ways to do the to do the bokeh effect. As I said earlier, there are many more ways to do that. But I believe these ones are gonna be quite enough for you to start with. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video, for supporting my channel, for all your support. I really do appreciate that a lot. And if you do like this video, please hit the like button, share it and comment. If you haven't still, please do subscribe to my channel. That really mean a lot to me. And again, thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.